I just heard, uh-uh. Oh, no. Ain't no way in this world, on this planet, that I am about to lose out. That's what I heard. Somebody about to fight, or they fighting right now, and I'm not talking in literal sense. What's up, y'all? It's me, Torian Goddess, coming in with a quick message. Happy New Year, loves. I'm glad everybody made it. And some of us struggling right now, though, but not in the literal sense as in the altercation, right? Um, but there's some type of fight going on. Y'all know what I come to do. I come to bring the actual factuals. Get you hip to what you are already hip to or hip you on to what may be hidden. Don't stress or try to obsess if this message ain't yours. It might sound familiar to you, though, right? Share it with somebody who you think going through these life circumstances. Bits and pieces may be relatable. You know, you might be hip to that. But um, I don't want y'all going willy-nilly, going to attack anyone verbally, you know. Happy G-Day, happy cake day to my Capricorns. Yeah, what's going on? I got a brother whose cake day is coming up on the 5th. Something is good with today, y'all, and something good with the 5th. Period, point blank. It might, those dates might mean something to you today. Might mean something to you. Or the fifth. Take it where it resonates. But let's see what the energy is. It's too late to reconcile. No love lost. But I'm cool. Friends. Then I see, I see these eyes. They looking at you. But I also see these eyes connecting. Um... Keep it moving. Swords, cups. It came out reverse, though, right? It came out reverse. For really, somebody a little indecisive right now was headstrong on departing from some connection is what I heard. You understand what I'm saying? But they like, no, nah, and I can't be your friend. I can't talk to you strictly platonic. That's not where we're supposed to be. You know where we're supposed to be. You know where we're supposed to be. That's what the G said. Somebody is thinking. But, you know, they still not understanding your religious beliefs. Whatever it is that you practice, they not understanding that. They haven't even tried to, you know, research or experience your spiritual path. Because... Religious beliefs are affecting y'all connection, right? I don't think they agree with your spiritual path. Look within and find out to what degree you live by others' belief systems that are set to be illusions. What doesn't serve you now? Let it go and forgive. Take action and set the stage for you. Meditate and do self-introspection. You know... You still got somebody on somebody else's coattails. They going by what it is that they've heard, ain't paying attention to what they seeing, you know, and and their intuition is blocked. It's like it's blocked, and it's like they can't let go of something you said, something you did, some type of action that you that you took, you know. It's, it was like self-preservation, though. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you dipped. Um, maybe they dipped on you, but this person's just not getting the getting the gist of it. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person is is juggling. They juggling. They juggling. They got dang on senses, is what I just heard. They has they have yet to you know lay back and observe what was going on around them. The reasons for these connections. They not peering in like hawk eyes, y'all. Not at all. Laid back, very observant. Hawk eyes and ears. Mm-mm. That's at the bottom of my deck and it's reversed. So, somebody said, uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. No. I, I can't let you go. Apparently, it was like it was some type of... Some, some type of disinfectant that was needed. I'm going to put it like that. Some type of disinfectant that was needed because they had attracted all of this negative energy. They had, you know, those connections, you know, whoever it was that they were speaking to, whoever 
it was that they were connected to some close connection that they had whoever this person is to you you know they they fell in line with their belief system you know whatever it was that was penetrated in their membranes she they they spirit <laughs> it stuck with them and it could have been a time where they were able to understand um your religious beliefs whether whether that's um your is your islamic um jewish a jehovah's witness a christian um a non-believer someone who is not non-denominational or someone who's who considers themselves spiritual um uh, who look more towards the um the moon and the stars you know metaphysical is what i'm trying to say the G said, all is well. Take that next step. It's a yes. Step out on faith. Some type of bond that you have with somebody, it feels like it's um, a romantic involvement, though, right? Something that had you on cloud, some connection that had you on cloud nine. Um, it felt like it was, it was right for you to do, right? I see pink and purple. I see pink and purple. That purple having passion and that pink being 50% pink and 50% red. You know, somebody a little lukewarm. You still got love for them. You feel as though they lied to you throughout your connection, though. I still see those hearts and those spores. Those spores represent Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Those cups to me, you know, that's love. That's a bunch of love, but that represents Scorpio, Pisces, or um, cancer energy. Look at that. It was one of those loves that you hadn't expected after having so many langs or 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 boo boo the fools in your dang on um in your uh, life. You know the relationships that you had. I heard they were just preparations, though, right? But you you just linked with somebody who you felt as though was gonna be your a one day one, right? They might be your A one day one. It might be somebody that you link with, that you connected with, like in your teen years, your twenties, or something like that. It was, it was, it was some strong, it it was some strong energy there, compatible, right? But somebody fell in line with somebody else's belief system too. Somebody could be married, right? Or they, or they're in a and some type of soul contract themselves. Now they re they re enter another um, phase in their life. So this person who's talking about no nah, no, nah, I can't let this go. Seem like all they got on their brain is you know screwing. You you feel me? That bring them a lot of happiness. I said I said that bring them a lot of happiness. They may be married um, or. Y'all could have been married. Y'all separated. This is this is somebody's um spouse, perhaps. It was a lot of hate coming towards y'all from y'all coming into union. You understand me? From y'all coming into union, it was like a royal connection. Y'all were seeing unicorns and ponies and deers and recognizing all these synchronized numbers that was falling into y'all lap. Y'all may have liked the same music. Um, this person woke you up. This person woke you up. Nine on the clock. Completion. Nine minutes was just on the clock. That's some. That's a completion stage. Whatever stage or energy y'all were just harboring with or against one another, I feel as though it's about to be some divine intervention. I could be talking about those signs I spit out, or I can just be talking about a great love. A great love that was that was shattered because somebody fell in line somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, that's what they said. Because somebody fell in line somewhere else. I'm going to put it like that. So, they like, no. Somebody feeling like they can shoot a fair one, y'all. Where they have been, you know, like, keeping their feelings away from you, too. You probably ain't even been talking to this person. You feel them, though. You feel them. 
you feel them around that corner. <laughs> That's what the G said. Somebody have re- has regrouped or they making all attempts to regroup their senses, but it's like they missing that connection with you because you help them to to see shit differently or something I'm feeling. Something was just concluded. It could have been concluded with a with uh these air signs and these water signs, right? Some stop, period. Somebody say, I need to pull my energy back from you because I, I, I see that I ain't thinking straight or something. That's how you was feeling. That's how somebody was feeling. That's how somebody you dealing with feeling or that's how you feeling. You feel me? <laughs> Three is most definitely a crowd. It, 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 it murks up your spirit, your energy, your spirit, man. Clouds your judgment is what the G said. You can be a you could have you could have just let go from someone who had a very perverse energy and that's how they reeled you in. Somebody might be mature in age, but acting very immaturely, right? I heard spreading seeds. So you could be this could be a masculine, you know, out here, you know, just all up in Lake Minnetonkas and shit. Or this can be somebody, you know, giving love offers to other feminine energies or masculine energies, take it where it resonates, but still got you kind of like on a string because they come in and out of your shit is what I heard. Yeah. And all, you know what, they come in and out, you know, and, and, but they, they actually, in all actuality, they done pulled all the way from you. They done pulled all the way from you, and they feeling some loss. This person could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, too. They feeling some loss, but something, something show sure enough was disguised for this person. Yeah, something was show sure enough disguised. They was thinking about how satisfied they was with you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um... It's about to be some messages coming to one of your <laughs> period point blank. Could be coming from a fire sign. Somebody who who was well known. Somebody who well known. Who working hard right now towards getting the gumption to come to to a, a feminine energy. They looking at you like, job, good job, well done, great job, well done. You know, seeing that you you've been nurturing yourself. This could be one of my masculines though too. You know, wrapped up in their feminine energy, not seeing you or nothing like that. And if you are, so what? You know, but I'm saying, you know, you you could be, you know, leaning towards your feminine side. If this is not just one of my feminine energies one of my queens you know um somebody who been real passive aggressive towards you that you took a rest from whoever this message relating to and you didn't had a bunch of doubt about her you just been honing in on your throne connecting with your g's is what i just heard your ancestors your angels you know trying to get closer to venus the beauty of life, you know, you, you didn't really, you know, push this energy to the side, whoever talking about, I don't want to let you go, Mm-mm. they don't want to let you go, they see how beautiful you are, thinking about how it was a pleasure, not a, not a displeasure, you know, like, you was a blessing, period, right looking at you like you a beautiful soul and i see these are messages i like to hear but i feel like in the past don't your personal values were misaligned it's some alignment right now right it's some alignment right now in the stars some divine intervention um some divine timing take it as you will uh, because somebody could be trying to will somebody too. But it's like they got too many choices. But they want a new beginning with you. 
they've had some um, problems in their love life, you know, some type of dispute of some nature. Seven of Cups reverse energy. But I think they looking at they, y'all, I think they looking at how they move out here and how you move out here. Whatever religions you take part in, they they recognize, analyze, and realize that you didn't surrender to source. You have surrendered to the divine. You you have surrendered to most high. Take it as you will. They want some new cycles with you because they loving the new you. They loving your new cycles. These fresh starts that you that you took. How it, like it was like you had to take your crown back or some shit. I feel you know what I'm saying. But it was the design of things in the past, right? Those personal values. This person is desiring you right now. Hmm. They they desiring you right now. And with this page of wands, they looking for you. Fire energy, they looking for you. And they excited about some shit too. They've been exploring you, but make me think, though, you know, that's why they, you know, with this Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of my deck, that's why they, you know, excited because they, they feel like they going to have some, I heard, good luck with you. Like an intense happiness. They want to give you happiness. They won't, they want to get shit. With this page of wines, they, they won't to be faithful to you they excited about nurturing you with this empress you know but it's like the personal values though with the seven of cups it's gonna be some type of adventure too but somebody got a, a new energy floating in as well that's where them choices come in yeah, that's where them choices coming in. And with this three of cups and with this yes, somebody is about to be celebrating you. They have an adoration for you and how you have have healed in some areas. They see your growth, right? They see your growth. They want to bless you. <laughs> they do. They want to bless you. They feel like your friendship with this alone time that they didn't have, right? There's somebody from your past wanting to come back. I don't know how y'all ended it. You know, I don't know how y'all ended it, but they they just concluded something, right? They just concluded this connection. Mm. They still need to deal with their shadow soon. I got the will of fortune, the devil. And the page of swords. They they currently doing it, right? But I got this next season. It's like this person may be coming in next season or shit by next season with this wheel of fortune. This change, this change, you know, them um tying up some loose ends. They feeling as though it's a twist of luck, y'all. The will of for destiny is about to take place. And, and the G said it's fading. It's someone put from, from somebody's past who's still real passionate about you. They may be dealing with some addictions, um, some raw desires, you know, whatever those are. Um, sexual, um, drinking too much, you know, smoking too much, whatever they drug of choice. Take it where it resonates, you know. Who I'm talking about is what they just said. You've been curious about them, but you've been feeling, you know, secure in your own skin. I think you even probably kept them at bay because they may have had you in a third party situation in the past. And yeah, they did. Because with this Will of Fortune, you, this elevation that you, I'm hearing. You elevated when you started syncretizing your religion. When you started delving deep into 
whatever spiritual following that you are a part of. The house of houses is what I heard. You've been paying attention to your spirit guides, um, to most high. Somebody been praying and meditating a lot. Because with this devil card, you you went through a spiritual transformation. You was you was curious too, right? And and I feel as though you established a very strong connection with our creator. I'm talking to somebody who believe in most high, period, point blank. Um it's a different transition coming from you too. A different phase. And I feel like it's a different phase with this person. This person can be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or this person could be an earth sign. Capricorn. Taurus. Virgo. Somebody got somebody new coming in, too. This person could be a um, male, female, water. Um, I said water sign. Excuse me, y'all. But most definitely, this water sign said I'm coming. This Leo Aries or this Sagittarius, though, right? Somebody, I said you're about to have some choices, right? Somebody and had some oopsies with their situationship, right? This person been on alert whenever you posting anything is what I heard. They <laughs> they've been real curious about you and they've been trying to think about how they gonna come at you. This person, somebody about to have somebody coming in trying to say something to you and get your attention within the next few days, if not today. You been getting some downloads about it too. You know, in all honesty you have, you been getting some downloads about it too. Two, 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 two on the clock. Two, 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 two on the clock. The G said, you... You've developed a very intense knowing to get to know yourself. You you know yourself on a different level. You understand how to tap in to those higher vibrational um, talents that that we all have. Is what I heard. Yeah, you. I'm talking to somebody who knows how to use their intuition for all the right reasons. Somebody who has a very great relationship with their higher self. It's awesome, right? It is. You've explored different mediums on how to pray. Um, I feel like there's a reason because somebody went through a spiritual awakening through some heartbreak because of some heartbreak take it where it resonates there's been an ending too there's been two endings and one of my feminine energies or could be my masculine take it where it resonates you got a choice that you about to have to make Somebody just paid, start really paying attention to you in Capricorn season. Or this person could be a Capricorn, or this person could be a Taurus. This person um, is an investor of some sort. An investor. Somebody who is well respected. Business minded and motivated deals with dealing with some family issues right now this person can be aquarius libra gemini cancer somebody is releasing the marriage <clears throat> they can be they could be leaving a water sign this person could be a libra 
they don't have no griefs about any financial um any financial losses is what I'm hearing. They're thinking about time. And they feel like they're restricted. This might be for an older person, somebody in their 50s, early 50s. I'm not that that's older, y'all. <laughs> or like that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ooh. So, someone has been looked at. They have. You're looked at in a light worker sense. Like you, you've been practicing to love yourself and care for you, but you've always been some type of servant, and not in a in a negative way. Like like with this Empress card, you're a nurturer. You 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 have a a caring heart, a very beautiful heart is what I feel, right? Like somebody's earth angel. <laughs> somebody's earth angel. This this fire sign is coming at one of my earth angels. It would be a neighbor or somebody, right? You gotta use your intuition. Because you don't want to have yourself linked up with anybody who does not have great intentions for you. So they're telling me to tell you you're going to have to be very intuitive. You got some old school knowledge. Sharpen up that sixth sense, right? That ability to, to see through the bullshit and telling people to run you the truth, right? That's what the G said. No low vibe and game guiding mentalities, though. You feel me? They want you to be wise. I could be talking to a Taurus. Um, something ended with somebody too, right? This person could have been somebody who you've been dealing with um, since like a spring or a fall, autumn. Autumn. You got these eyes on you kind of stalkerish too, like, right? Somebody looking at you. Mm, somebody looking at you like they want to be a blended family with you. Because they see that somebody, this masculine, hey, y'all, it's a masculine. It's a masculine. This energy just crept in. It's a masculine who wants to leave a connection. Who wants to leave a connection now. Come form something with another feminine. But this 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 woman that they leaving... Or male, take it wherever, you know, it ain't no male. Or it could be, y'all, hey, they said fuck it. Excuse my French, they said fuck it. They can just go on and y'all can live up under one roof. The devil is a liar. That was y'all message, see you. But, I mean, you know, to each his own. But not this way, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a collective reading, loves, it is. It's a collective reading, so it could apply to me, too. But that was the message. Psych. Not for I, not that part. <laughs> See you.